not only do we have new shape overlay updates, but we actually have text overlay updates as well. And we are about to get into it. Let's go. So as you can see here, we have a few new updates for text overlays, new text box overlay type, text cutout option for text overlays, line spacing and kerning adjustments, and a secret weapon at the end, right? So let's check out the new text box overlay type. So as you can see here in your overlays panel, we have this new option called new text box overlay. And the original text overlay is now called new dynamic text overlay. And if we head on over to our workshop, let's go over what each one entails, right? So this is a dynamic text box. So this is the traditional text box that we have here. So the text that we have mm -hmm. in the text box is going to actually uh, resize along with the text box. If you expand it, the text will expand. If you shrink it, the text will shrink as well. So everything moves in one, everything moves in unison. Okay. And now we also have shrink, right? So shrink is going to keep the font size at fixed size. So, right. So we have the font set to 25. It's going to stay there. Right. But now check what happens with the text box. So this is the new feature here. So the text box is actually going to move and expand, but the the text itself, the font size will not go past 25, which is great, which is great, right? So it stays fixed and you could adjust your box to what you're liking. And if you shrink it down now, check what happens, right? So now the font size will shrink along with the box, right? And if you want to go opposite, if you want to expand, you could expand until it hits font size 25. And now you have the text box to manipulate. All right. So that's what shrink does. And we also have truncate, right? So what's going to happen here? You still have those, uh, this manipulation here, but then when you start to shrink it, it's not going to shrink the text. It's going to truncate like so, right? And Anna likes to use this as a reveal. So let's say we have this as new text box overlay type. You hold this and drag this. You have the text cutout option and so on and so forth, right? You can use this as a revealing uh, feature. Yeah, we can leave it. We can leave it as revealing right now. So we can actually put it like this and we're talking about the text overlay type, yes. right? So that is that. So then you can even, uh, when the next one is coming, you can reveal and the next one you can reveal. But right now we're here, so let's leave it there. Right. Okay, so that's what we have here. And these are the text box overlays, the new text box overlay features that you have here in Ecamm Live 4.1. And oh my gosh, the text cutout option for text overlays. So let's say in order for this to work, mm -hmm. you need to have text on top of a text background like this, right? <laughs> so this is your OG uh, dynamic text box with a building blocks type there with we added a white text background. It's just one overlay, right? It's not two different overlays, just one text overlay. But now if we go into the new overlay panel, like so we have this feature cut out text. And once we click on that, check what happens. Now the text is removed and you have this awesome cut out. Right. Light magic. So you already saw on one of the other videos how we are, we have rotating. We can rotate now. So you see how this is the the uh, background is kind of like out of rotation. We can get fancy with it and we can rotate this way, for example, which is something that Glenn just loves. And we can add it here. Yes. Right. And what's awesome about this is that you can actually finesse it with the arrow keys too. Well, finesse get, it. Right. So if you go back here and you go and highlight rotate, you can click on this little uh, slider here. And now you could just use your arrow keys to finesse it. So now we have it set to 34. I believe 34 looks really good. 
Yeah, look at that. So you can do those things like that. You can add more. It's fun. fun. You can create. You can even create this background here. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And also, what you can do. Uh, let's maybe not. Might not save to do it in rotation mode. So let's just put it back here. You can actually scroll with a text cutout <laughs> as well, which is pretty, pretty <laughs> awesome. In addition to that, we have line spacing and kerning adjustments for text overlays. That's another incredible one. And we can actually just go right in here and test that out. So if you click on the pencil here and go to edit text, and we have the text overlay panel here, and check this out. If we select all, you have these new features here. You have kerning and you have line height. So if you use slider for kerning, kerning is actually going to scrunch or expand depending on which direction you go to, or you can just go back to zero, or you can just click on this little X here and it will default back to zero. And line height is awesome as well because you can actually adjust the line height right here inside of Ecamm. We are spoiled. We are spoiled now. And, and not only that, but before when we wanted to do some kerning between the letters, you know, between each letter, each character, um, we had to do space, space, space. Right now, you can take have a word and then kern it, and then you will add the spaces in between. So yeah. that's very easy as well. And last, but certainly not least, is one of Anna's favorite brand new text overlay features, which is the ability to now use the arrow keys in the font list. But there's a little bit more to that because Ken and Glenn threw in a little Easter egg in there, but let's yeah, have Anna. Yeah, and I'm pretty that. sure it's gonna be yours if you use text a lot you will be, you, this will become your favorite as well. So now you can just go and use the arrow keys to go up and down to view, right? Your, uh, which text you wanted, what are you in the mood for? What was your your um, show about? And you just, you know, oh, I like this, oh, I like that, whatever, right? But if you know the font that you're looking for, for example, you're looking for Helvetica, you can just type H and it will bring you to the H's, right? So here we go, Helvetica, because I was all the way at the bottom. But say you're looking for a, um, a, it goes all the way to A. You're looking for a font that starts with F, it goes all the way to F. And that is incredible. Thank you, Ken and Glenn. That's definitely one of my favorite ones. Wow. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So there you have it. Once again, these are the new text overlay updates in Ecamm Live 4.1. Will you use these new text overlay updates? What will you be using them for? How will they help you with your overall content creation and live video production inside of Ecamm? Let us know in the comments. That is right. And remember to check us out every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We come live to show you creative ways that you can use all of these new features inside of Ecamm and make your shows even more dynamic than they were already were. My name is Anna Heath. And I'm Fulton Henry. Thank you so much for watching.